Welcome to the latest spot. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> consistency. It again. Consistency <laughs> is one of the most important traits in leadership. Yeah, or insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. All right, this is uh, Ethan Skaldick here with J Rod. You can find him at J Rod Show, Jim Rodriguez. Again, you can find me at Five Reasons Sports, hence my shirt, hence his shirt, BUSR.com. Mine's in the wash. BUSR.com backslash 5RSN. That's where you get the 20%. You get the 20% bonus. Use Bitcoin, which by the way is up 4% today. It's in my portfolio. If you use Bitcoin, you get 100% uh, bonus there. So, But use a 5RSN. Go right there, and then you can use the Bitcoin from there also. You can do both together. How about that? All right, let's get to it. Today, no heat game tonight. Uh, if you bet the heat at Portland last night, you would have done quite well. A little bit of a surprise there. But we got some baseball, and we've got some basketball. We've got the Sixers competing for the number one spot in the East against a very hot Mavericks team. Dallas trying to stay out of that damn play-in. They're trying to get up to at right. least six. Uh, obviously, the Heat helped last night with a win over Portland. Uh, but how do you see this thing playing out? Well, you know, I'm I'm always leery. I know these guys are professionals and this, that, and the other. I'm always leery about the second game and a back-to-back. -back. And Dallas, mm -hmm. you know, it, as part of their underachieving season, they're 10-14 and 14 at home against the spread. And they're 0-3 mm -hmm. after a loss on the second game of a back-to-back. -back. Well, this mm -hmm. is all the makings here. You know, I think Philly's minus two and a half. Whenever it gets mm. under three, I'm almost thinking you might as well take the money line. So I'll take the Sixers easy. Um, but I think the real fun play here, the real underrated play, is the over 111 and a half halftime over. I think that's where you're going to see some action. Over 111 and a half oh, halftime. Yeah. But I'll take the Sixers money line or minus two and a half. Sixers win this game. Boy, I had to write that one down because I haven't heard you use that one before. A halftime over. That's what we're playing now. All right, let's get to Lakers, Knicks, uh, New York, L.A., although actually more people are interested in the other New York team these days. Although the Knicks, I watched them come back and beat Memphis the other night because Memphis missed all their free throws. Uh, R.J. Barrett's playing a lot better than he was playing before. Uh, they, they seem to have something there. What do you see? In, and, of course, still no LeBron, still no AD. So what do you see? Right. I mean, I, and and – I'm coming at this from the Lakers' point of view. The Lakers are 17-9 and nine on the road, you know, including that win here in Miami. You know, and 15 of those wins, they've covered against the spread. This, when the line came out, it was Lakers plus three, and now it's down to plus two. So that tells me that the money's coming in on the Lakers, and the book knows. The book's never wrong. I'll take the Lakers plus two. Why not? I'm not bold enough to do the money line because, you know, they'll cover. They didn't win against against Miami, but they covered. But they do play, right. they do play on well on the road, and the Knicks are still the Knicks. You know, they're always unpredictable. I like the Lakers getting those two points tonight in New York. And if you can get three, right, even better, but I like them getting two. All right. Lakers are going to try not to slide uh, too far out before they get their two big guns back. Uh, Marlins Braves, uh, the Marlins have been cursed this season in a whole bunch of different ways. They started last season cursed with COVID. Uh, this season they're getting rainouts. They're getting, you know, players uh, taking a base when they shouldn't take a base at the end of the game. Uh, they get the Braves here, though. Uh, how do you see this one playing out? little playoff rematch here, mm -hmm. you know, from last year. Listen, to me, it's very simple. It is Sandy Alcantara Day, okay? That means he's the best pitcher for the Marlins. He's going to get a bunch of strikeouts. The Marlins' offense is terrible. They're woeful. We knew this was going to happen. The number is eight and a half. I don't mm. think Sandy Alcantara is going to give up five or six runs, even against the Braves. Problem is, I don't think the Marlins are going to score very many runs. It doesn't matter who. So eight and a half, I like the under. I like the under, not so much because the, the Marlins can't hit, because I think Sandy's going to hold the Braves down to maybe four or five runs. I, mean, I think right. it'll be close, a five to five to three you know, four to two kind of game. Or, I mean, under eight and a half, I like that all day. Yeah, that's the one I like the best of these. Sandy's great. And, uh, and yeah, and the Marlins can't score, as you just said. So, uh, you know, the Jazz just him with a home run the other day, but otherwise it's bleak. All right, Tigers, Astros, what do you see here? You're stealing some signs. I, I think we're going to be partying like it's 2017. They're back in Houston. The usual suspects. No, no, you you being a wordsmith, wow. Ethan. The usual suspects are hitting well again. Altuve, Correa, Bregman, yeah. Goria. Did I bang on something? 
All right. Fastball. The Tigers are terrible. They got a kid pitching. Uh, Grinky's not, you know, he, he's a Cy Young winner, clearly. But in that ballpark, every, anybody's gettable, I guess. is you know, Nobody's untouchable. Over eight and a half. Shoot, we could have that by the third inning. I think the Astros are going to score in bunches. They're back to their 2017 ways, especially at home. They're comfortable. The fans love them. That bogus championship banner's hanging up there. Easy all day. I like the Astros over eight and a half in that game. The the, the total. Tigers-Astros over eight and a half. All right. All right. All right. So, we like uh, over one and a half, 11 and a half, halftime, Sixers-Mavs, Sixers to uh, cover the number. You like the Lakers to cover against the Knicks, under eight and a half uh, with Marlins, Braves, and then over with Tigers and Astros. Again, busr.com backslash 5RSM. Money.